For over a century, one of archaeology's most tantalizing puzzles has been hiding in plain sight at the Archaeological Museum of Heraklion, a clay disk covered in mysterious symbols that no one could read until now. We can now read the disk, but what does it mean? It is a genuine Minoan religious inscription. It is 3,600 years old, according to the museum. The inscription is said to be a prayer, a record of battles or an archive register. Recent developments in artificial intelligence have cracked open this ancient enigma, and what researchers found inside challenges everything we thought we knew about this artifact. On July 3, 1908, Italian archaeologist Luigi Pernier was excavating the ruins of the ancient Minoan palace at Phaistos on the island of Crete when he stumbled upon something extraordinary. Luigi Pernier excavates at Phaistos until he is able to present the Phaistos disc, the oldest written artifact in Europe. Buried in a basement room covered in ash and debris from a fire that destroyed the palace around 1700 BCE lay a disc unlike anything archaeologists had seen before. The object was about six inches in diameter, roughly the size of a modern DVD made from fired clay with a thickness of about one centimeter. But it wasn't the disc's size that made it remarkable. Both sides of the disc were covered in symbols arranged in a tight spiral pattern, running from the outer edge toward the center. These weren't scratched or painted on. Someone had stamped each symbol into wet clay using individual seals, making this potentially the world's oldest example of movable type printing, predating Gutenberg by more than 3,000 years. The disc was clearly important enough to warrant this painstaking process, yet no other artifact like it has ever been found. Not at Phaistos, not anywhere else in Crete, not in the entire Mediterranean world. It stood completely alone, a one-of-a-kind message from the Bronze Age with no context, no translation key, and no similar texts to compare it to. The disc contains 241 individual symbols, but these symbols are made up of only 45 distinct signs. Each symbol was carefully impressed into the clay using carved stamps, creating clean, raised images. The symbols themselves depict recognizable objects, a walking man, a woman, a child, a ship, a fish, various plants, tools, and geometric shapes. Some look like helmets or shields, others resemble animals or body parts. They're arranged in groups separated by vertical lines, creating what appear to be words or phrases with 31 such groups on side A and 30 on side B. The spiral format is unusual in itself. Most ancient writing systems run in straight lines, but the Phaistos disc demands that you rotate it as you read, following the symbols from the rim to the center. This deliberate design choice suggests the message was meant to be read in a specific sequence, possibly even performed or recited. The stamping technique means whoever created this had manufactured individual seals for each symbol in advance, implying this wasn't meant to be the only document written this way. Yet no other examples have survived, if they ever existed. Was this a one-time experiment? A sample of a writing system that was never widely adopted? Or is this disc the sole survivor of what was once a common method of communication? Since its discovery, the Phaistos disc has attracted hundreds of decipherment attempts. Linguists, amateur codebreakers, mathematicians, and enthusiasts have all taken their shot at unlocking its meaning. The proposed interpretations have ranged from plausible to downright bizarre. Some researchers argued it was a prayer or hymn to a Minoan goddess. Others suggested it was a geometric theorem a Bronze Age board game, or instructions for a ritual. One theory claimed it was an ancient calendar tracking astronomical events. Another proposed it was a land deed or a narrative about military conquests. The problem with all these attempts was the same, no way to verify them. When Jean-Francois Champollion deciphered Egyptian hieroglyphics in 1822, he had the Rosetta Stone, which provided the same text in three different scripts. When Michael Ventris cracked Linear B in 1952, he had thousands of clay tablets to work with and could use statistical analysis to identify patterns. The Phaistos disc offers none of these advantages. It's a single text in an unknown language using an unknown script with no bilingual equivalent and no comparable documents. Many proposed solutions suffered from what cryptographers call confirmation bias. Researchers would assume the text was in a specific language, 
then force the symbols to match that language's sounds or words, cherry-picking coincidences while ignoring contradictions. Without external validation, there was no way to prove one interpretation was more accurate than another. The disk kept its secrets locked away, frustrating each new generation of scholars who took up the challenge. The field of artificial intelligence has made remarkable strides in recent years, particularly in pattern recognition and natural language processing. Modern AI systems can analyze vast amounts of data, identify subtle patterns that humans might miss, and test thousands of hypotheses simultaneously. These capabilities have made AI an increasingly valuable tool in archaeology and linguistics. In 2019, researchers used machine learning to help decipher fragments of Babylonian tablets. In 2020, an AI system called Pythia was trained on ancient Greek inscriptions and could predict missing words with impressive accuracy. What makes AI different from traditional human analysis isn't just speed or computational power. AI approaches problems without preconceptions. A human researcher might unconsciously favor theories that fit their existing knowledge or academic training. An AI system doesn't have those biases. It simply looks at the data and identifies mathematical patterns, statistical correlations, and structural relationships. For ancient scripts, this means analyzing the frequency of symbols, their positions relative to each other, the length of word groups, and hundreds of other variables that would be nearly impossible for a human to track simultaneously. Recent advances in neural networks and deep learning have created systems capable of working with extremely limited data sets. Traditional statistical methods need thousands of examples to identify reliable patterns, but newer AI architectures can extract meaningful information from just a few hundred data points. This breakthrough has opened the door to analyzing unique artifacts like the Phaistos disk, where limited data has always been the fundamental obstacle. In 2023, a team of computational linguists and archaeologists applied a sophisticated AI system to the Phaistos disk that combined multiple analytical approaches. Rather than trying to match the symbols to a known language, they first had the AI analyze the internal structure of the text itself. The system examined how often each symbol appeared, which symbols tended to appear together, which ones started or ended word groups, and how the pattern changed as the spiral progressed inward. This structural analysis revealed something unexpected. The text showed clear characteristics of a syllabic script rather than an alphabet or a logographic system. Each symbol likely represented a complete syllable rather than a single sound or a whole word. Next, the team fed the AI data from known Bronze Age languages of the Eastern Mediterranean, including Linear A, Linear B, Luwian, and several Semitic languages. The AI wasn't trying to translate directly, but rather to identify which language family showed structural similarities to the Phaistos text. The results pointed toward a Luwian connection, a language spoken by people in Anatolia during the Bronze Age. This was genuinely surprising because most researchers had assumed the disk was related to Minoan culture and language. But here's where it gets really interesting. The AI's analysis suggested the disk wasn't a religious text, wasn't a calendar, and wasn't a game board. Based on the repetitive structure, the specific symbols used, and comparisons with other Bronze Age texts, the system indicated the disk was likely a list, possibly an inventory or a record of goods and people. The presence of number symbols, common objects, and what appear to be personal names or titles all pointed in this direction. If this interpretation is correct, the Phaistos disk might be something remarkably mundane, an administrative document, the Bronze Age equivalent of a shipping manifest or a tax record. The mystery object that captivated researchers for over a century might have been ancient paperwork, why this changes everything. If the AI's interpretation holds up under scrutiny, it fundamentally reshapes our understanding of Minoan Crete and its connections to the broader Mediterranean world. The potential Luwian connection suggests more extensive trade and cultural exchange between Crete and Anatolia than previously documented. It would mean that foreign merchants or administrators were present at Phaistos, possibly operating a trading post or managing goods flowing between civilizations. The use of stamped symbols for an administrative text would indicate a surprisingly sophisticated bureaucracy that had developed efficient methods for record-keeping. 
This discovery also raises questions about other undeciphered scripts from the region. Linear A, the main writing system of Minoan Crete, remains unreadable despite decades of effort. If the Phaistos disk represents a different language family, it might explain why Linear A has been so resistant to decipherment. Perhaps Minoan civilization was more linguistically diverse than archaeologists assumed, with multiple languages in use simultaneously for different purposes. The disk might be evidence that Phaistos was a cosmopolitan hub where different cultures intersected and conducted business. For the field of archaeology, this represents a potential turning point in how researchers approach undeciphered texts. The combination of AI analysis with traditional scholarship offers a new methodology for tackling ancient mysteries. Rather than replacing human expertise, the AI serves as a powerful tool that can test hypotheses faster, identify patterns more comprehensively, and suggest connections that might not be obvious to human researchers working within their specialized fields. The implications extend beyond just the Phaistos disk to countless other artifacts sitting in museums worldwide, covered in writing that no one can read. The skeptics aren't convinced. Not everyone in the academic community has embraced these findings. Several prominent archaeologists and linguists have expressed caution about the AI's conclusions. Their concerns are valid and worth considering. First, the verification problem remains. Even if the AI suggests the text is a Luwian administrative record, there's no way to confirm this interpretation without finding additional examples of the script or a bilingual text. The AI's pattern recognition is impressive, but patterns can be coincidental, especially with limited data. Some scholars argue that the AI's training data might have inadvertently biased its conclusions. If the system was fed primarily administrative texts from the Bronze Age, it might be more likely to identify any unknown text as administrative, even if that's not accurate. Others point out that AI systems, despite their sophistication, can still make fundamental errors that a human expert would immediately catch. The debate continues with researchers designing new tests and gathering additional evidence to either support or refute the AI's interpretation. What comes next? The research team is now applying similar AI techniques to Linear A tablets, hoping to find connections that might help crack that script as well. Other groups are using the same methodology on the Etruscan language, ancient South Arabian inscriptions, and various undeciphered petroglyphs. The Phaistos disk has become a test case for AI-assisted archaeology, demonstrating both the promise and the limitations of this approach. Whether the disk truly contains a Luwian administrative text or something else entirely, one thing is certain. We're closer to understanding this Bronze Age mystery than we've ever been. The combination of cutting-edge technology and ancient artifacts continues to yield surprises, reminding us that even our oldest puzzles might still have answers waiting to be found. The clay disc from Phaistos, stamped with symbols over 3,000 years ago, might finally be ready to tell its story.